Rapper, producer, songwriter, and singer, St. John has had success behind the scenes, ghostwriting for other artists, and when it comes to his own music career. He's appreciated by the people who enjoy unique vocals and style. But before the hits and the Grammys, even before he took on the name St. John, who was he? And how now he hasn't even reached the peak in his career? Well, in this video, I'm going to be discussing the rise and success of St. John. Let's get started. Born August 26, 1986, in Brooklyn, Carlos St. John Phillips, spending time in both Ghana and East New York, but the birth of his career officially started in 2010 when he released his EP titled In Association, and a year later released The St. John Portfolio. He was flown to Los Angeles by music executive Zach Katz, who saw the potential St. John had. But for two months, St. John spent his time writing songs for other artists, especially for Rihanna. But despite his efforts of all of his songs, they were not accepted. But after coming back from Los Angeles, he then began to co-write many songs for artists, but notably Usher's songs Rivals and Crash, two songs that featured on Usher's album Hard to Love. But what would follow in the next couple years was an example of how hard work pays off. So after co-writing songs for many artists, what was next for Carlos St. John Phillips? Well, starting off with his name, he decided to change it to St. John. Since he had experience writing for other people, and was, and still is in my opinion, very good at it, he decided to release his first song in 2016, under the new name, St. John. The song was titled 1999, which is a very good song by the way. Anyway, in that same year, he released the hit song, Roses. But this song was not an immediate hit. When I say this, I mean that this song was a hit when an artist named Iman Beck, sorry if I pronounced this wrong, but he remixed the song and that's when it became popular, especially on TikTok. I personally still prefer the original, but the remix is still good. Another song that he released in 2016 that is also very good was Reflex, another slow song like Roses that showed how St. John can be good at creating music as a solo artist. In October of that same year, it was announced that St. John was going to be opening up for some shows on the west coast for Post Malone. A year had gone by, and St. John blessed his fans once again with more original tracks, titled Three Below, Hermes Freestyle. Slowly, St. John was starting to build up his own discography of music. Also in that same year, he performed at Rolling Loud. In 2018, St. John put on even more music, and fans started to wonder when his next album would be released, and if it would live up to the hype people built for him. Well, on March 30th, 2018, his debut album titled Collection One released. But it wasn't really an album, because the songs on the album were already released, but nonetheless, it was nice to have all of them in one spot. After the release of Collection One, St. John's career started to take off. He was hired by Gucci as a model for its Guilty campaign. Then, in April of 2020, his song Roses became number one in both the Australian and the UK singles charts. His song Roses is the song people know him by. It became so popular that many other artists decided to remix it. Both Future and J Balvin hopped on remixes. Before finishing up this video, I wanted to elaborate on what I said about him not reaching his peak yet. I think an artist like St. John, he doesn't have a peak because he is consistently good. I mean, some could say that Roses was and will only be his biggest song, but it's not his best. I think he will be around for a while because he has a very strong fan base that is loyal to him. Anyway, back to the main video. In October of 2020, St. John performed live at the 2020 Billboard Music Awards. In that same month, he released a video for one of his singles, Gorgeous. This song served to hype up fans for his second album titled, While the World Was Burning, which officially released on November 20th, 2020. This album was great, and still is. It featured songs like High School Reunion Prom, which has featured a very good verse from Lil Uzi Vert. Other songs like Sucks To Be You, Freedom Is Priceless, and many others. I recommend this album. Like I have said, St. John is a perfect example of how hard work pays off. As of the making of this video, currently, the best part of life is St. John's newest single, and is in my opinion, it's pretty good. St. John went from a ghostwriter who wasn't recognized by the people who listened to music, but when he started to release his own music, that credit that he was due was given to him. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if St. John ever watches this video, I want to say you're a very unique artist and I am a big fan of yours. Keep making really, really good music. Once again, guys, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.